Hey, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Chrissy. Today I'm coming to you with another vlog. Today's vlog is going to be what I use for content creation. So these are all the gadgets I have surrounding me on a daily basis to make my YouTube videos and such. So I'm going to jump right into it. I'm going to start off with the camera I use. So I use the Sony ZV-E10 camera. There's an option to get it with a lens or without a lens. So I purchased the creator's kit, but I purchased the kit without the lens. So it came with the actual camera. So the Sony ZV-E10 camera. And then it also came with this like shooting grip that has, it's like a wireless remote. So that was nice. These came together, but so this is what the shooting grip looks like. If you push this in on the side, it rotates. And then it also, if you push this here, so you can rotate it from being like facing you to the other direction. So this button here, it'll swivel so the camera's facing you. Um, so that came in the creator's kit. What did not come in the creator's kit that I did have to purchase after was a lens. There is an option to get it with a lens. I didn't realize that. If you purchase the lens with the creator's kit, let me just tell you, you will save $100. Lens I purchased off of Amazon is similar to the kit lens, but it wound up costing me an extra $100 to do everything separately. So make sure you purchase it in the kit. So I purchased on Amazon, and this was a um, refurbished lens, this one here. It was the 2.8 aperture 16 lens. So it's 16 with an aperture of 2.8. And this is what the lens looks like. This is what they consider a pancake lens. So it's a pretty decent lens, I I'll say, but I wasn't satisfied with it. So I went on a journey. Um, spent way too much money on this journey. So the next lens I purchased without doing enough research, um, I wanted something I can vlog on close up, not like dead in my face, you know, but something that was decent and clear. So I purchased the Sony, Sony 50 millimeter with the 1.8 aperture. And this is what this one looks like, a little bigger. And it comes with a lens hood on this one. So the aperture does go back, go down to 1.8. And what that means is you can actually record in lower light environments and you can get a better um, effect in the background. So this is down to a 1.8 aperture. This is better for, to me at least, in my opinion, for landscape photos or videos. So I was more using it for vlogs, but this will be good for when we're traveling to, to um, get some footage. So that is that one. So that was the 50 millimeter and I purchased this one from Best Buy. I don't remember the prices on these, but I'll put them on the screen if I can find them. And then the next thing I purchased was, well, let's just go along with another lens. So. I also purchased the lens I have on the camera now, which is the 15 millimeter 1.4 aperture Sony lens. So this was the most expensive lens and these are all E-mount lenses. So the Sony ZV-E10 takes a E-mount lens. So they're interchangeable lenses you can use and they just kind of screw on. This is the one I have on the camera now. It's a really good lens. The aperture goes down to 1.4, which is really good. So it'll be good for low light environments and it has a really wide angle. So you see a lot in the background. So when you're vlogging, especially like when you're traveling, you wanna show the background, it'll have the whole background for you so people can actually see. So that's why I purchased this one. There is a bit of lens distortion in this one. So be careful if you're um, looking for a lens, if you're gonna spend the money, make sure you look into like the lens distortion, um, how wide the angle is and um, the focus length. So, so you know those things and also the aperture, if that's important to you. All the lenses I have, I have three lenses now. Um, the next thing I have is an external hard drive. So the external hard drive I use to actually edit off of and to store my footage. So this is that, this is the second external hard drive I purchased. This one is a two terabyte Samsung T7. The first one I purchased was the Samsung Extreme and that one was a one terabyte, which I lost. I have no clue how I lost it, but it's gone. So I replaced it with the two terabyte Samsung T7. And then with that, I use a MacBook, of course. Um, shouldn't say of course, but I use a MacBook to edit off of. And Final Cut Pro is the editing software I use. But I purchased this from Amazon. So this little pocket here makes it nice. So when I carry my external hard drive, 
I can just put it right into the pocket here. Especially after losing the first one, I need somewhere to like carry this because I pretty much always need this to edit off of so I don't bog down my computer. If you edit off of your actual computer, you're gonna bog it down and, and really slow your computer down, mess things up. So if you're gonna edit, make sure you edit on an external hard drive of some sorts. Along the lines of that, I also have the SD card reader for the iPhone. So this is just like a plug and play where you can put an SD card into this and then plug it into your iPhone. So if you're like trying to make TikToks or even edit videos, I do know some people edit YouTube videos off of their phone. So you just plug that into the bottom of your iPhone, you put an SD card in there and you're good to go. Um, along the lines of that, I purchased SD cards. So um, I have one in the camera and I have three here. So I have a 64 gigabyte, a 256 gigabyte. I don't know which one this is here, but I have a few of those here. And make sure you look at um, the type of SD card that you need for your camera specifically. It depends on the, the 256 gigabyte. I think, honestly, I don't know. I don't know how many hours that one is. The 64 gigabyte didn't get me that much time when I was in Mexico. It got us a decent amount of time, but I did have to wind up going into a second uh, storage device. And I think I had about three or four hours of content, maybe more, maybe more, because I probably had some old content on that camera card. So that's the SD storage. Sorry if you hear all the people in the background. I'm out on the balcony and everybody's out with their dogs and it's a, it's a really nice day today. So everybody is out. All right, so what's next? Oh, batteries. So with the Sony camera, the ZV-E10 specifically, the battery life is trash. So make sure you purchase some external batteries. These ones I purchased here came in a three pack. And I got these off of Amazon. And the Sony camera takes the NW50 size batteries. There's a lot of different brands like newer. Um, this one says JYJZPB. I'll try to link all this stuff in my Amazon store. So in case you're interested. But it came with a pack of three. The Sony camera itself, when you purchase it, does come with one Sony battery. I purchased the aftermarket one, so I have uh, batteries from when I'm traveling and just to restore. Because the battery life is, like I said, it's trash. You are going to need some replacement batteries. So make sure you have your backup batteries. This came with a charger as well so that you can charge all three, which was nice. Then I keep my batteries in with my gray part. So this part here was from Amazon. And this part is used to white balance, the, for your white balance in your camera. So that's what this part is used for. You just hold it up like this, snap this bullseye here, and it helps to find the white balance in your camera. So this is a really handy thing. I think it was like eight bucks, and it just kind of folds over like this. And that way your um, background is not looking all shady, um, and the colors in your pictures aren't all off. So, all right, so that is that one. Let's see what we have left. A lot of this stuff I honestly didn't need, just wanted. Um, another thing I purchased was the microphone, which is on the camera right now. And this is the Rode Video Mic. Rode Video Micro, it's a compact on-camera microphone. So that's this, that's actually on the mic, on the camera now. And it comes with this, they call it a dead cat or a wind muff. It's a, um, I don't even have a picture of it on here. But it's like a gray, you probably see a big gray fuzzy piece on people's cameras that goes over top of the microphone. It's helped, it helps to uh, fill the wind out. So it came with that as well. Um, next is this USB-C hub. So for the MacBook specifically, um, there's not that many ports on the side. Like this MacBook has two ports on this side, then like a little jack on that side. So that's not enough for me to like plug in an SD, there's no space to put in an SD part, plus to have a charger, plus to have my um, external hard drive. So that's where this comes into play. So this is a hyperdrive and it just plugs into the computer like this and it makes it so you have extra um, ports to use. So if I plug it in here, then it brings me these two ports here, these two hubs for the USB, SD card reader, a micro SD card reader. So that is that. And like I said, I'll try to pull up the link to these devices so you have prices for them. Um, another thing I purchased 
was this this Ulanzi uh, light. It's an external light because the Sony ZV E10 does not have a flash on it. So you will need an external light unless you're going to be in a well lit place all the time when you're videoing um, or taking pictures. So this is that. And then just a small tip, when you're doing white balance, a lot of the lights you use will have the actual Kelvins on it. You can set your white balance based off of that. Like if you know that it's 5,500 Kelvins um, for the light and it will say it on the back of here, it tells me like 5,500 K. That's what I would set the white balance on the camera for. And here you go, boom. Um, let's see what else do I have around here? Oh, a microphone. I'm sweating, it is so hot out here. So this is just a little small microphone. It came with a set of two microphones and then the like adapter that goes into the device that you're gonna use. So this is the adapter piece. It's a wireless microphone. You can put this into your MacBook, your phone, your camera. There's different cords that come with it so that you can hook it up to any device. And then it comes with two external microphones. These are the two microphones. You can clip them on like your shirt, have them behind your shoulder or something, and they come with little covers as well. I lost one of the covers already. And those were Amazon purchases. And then let's see what else I have here. So this is just, I think I showed you guys this already. I'm not sure, but this was just the vlogger's kit. Uh, this is what the handle came in. This box. All right, so what else I have is an iPad that is really mucked up and an Apple Pencil. So I really don't use this to edit much. There's a few apps that like Canva that I'll mess with um, the pencil on, but honestly, I use my MacBook more than anything nowadays or just my phone just because it's too much has hassle having all these devices. So I don't really use this that much. And let me see, is there anything else? Oh, and of course, the last thing is my iPhone. So if I don't want to pull the camera out and I want to get some type of footage for YouTube specifically, I'll turn the camera this way and just take it so it's like in a landscape mode. So you can use your camera. If you're starting out, use your camera. Don't purchase all this stuff. It's it's a bit much. I, I'm extra. I'm not even going to lie. I'm very extra. So that is it. That is it. Um... I'm loving the Sony camera. I can't lie, I really do love the camera. I'm getting used to everything on it. I've researched the hell out of it. So I'm very familiar with the features. Um, I know how to do the settings and I'm just loving it. I'm loving it. So thank you for joining me today. I hope this was useful for you. Um, if you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below. If you want a specific video um, related to the ZV-E10 or if you have questions, um, you wanna know the camera settings, let me know, drop it in the comments below and I will post something, but um, that's pretty much it. Thank you for joining me today. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.